Hello and welcome to this demo of Generate Free from Dranalog. Let's check out what's to come before we get into it. So right away I'd like to thank Duranalog for their sponsorship of this video. They have funded the creation of this video demonstrating their generate free module. Now not only is this a long video, I have a lot to explain and get through in terms of functions and features before I even get patching. So if you want to skip to the timing on screen to get right to me making some patches and sounds, feel free. Generate Free is a highly capable and highly modulatable analog oscillator in 12 HP. It offers control of all aspects of sounds with control of frequency, phase, amplitude and timbre and it does so with all of those controls going through zero. The module starts with a stable and precise triangle oscillator core, and you can output that directly on the core output right on the front panel. We can control the pitch with coarse and fine tunes, and a switch that takes this from audio to low frequencies, giving us an interesting LFO when it's not being used as an audio source. We have standard exponential FM with an input and attenuverter, and we've also got through zero FM control too, again with input and attenuator and some additional switches. Without an input, the through zero FM control will linearly detune from full all the way down to zero, where the core of this circuit actually stops. But we can go through zero and reverse the oscillator core as well. And when you plug a signal in, this becomes an attenuverter for that signal. The control itself and the CV affects the whole core of the circuit. We can AC couple that input, simply turning on a switch which will remove any DC signals which are sub audio signals which may relate to some drifting of your pitch while you're modulating. We can also bias the input which adds 5 volts and offsets the actual voltage you plug in which takes it out of the negative range and gives a standard linear FM. Both responses are useful and we'll of course look at both in the video. If you don't plug anything in, handily, this bias will simply take the pitch of the oscillator up an octave. It's a handy little switch. We then move on to phase modulation, which doesn't affect the core, but does affect the fundamental even and odd, and they mix down to the full output too. We're at zero phase shift when this is in the middle, and as it's through zero, we can phase shift positively, forwards 450 degrees or round to negative 450 degrees. And with the input, this again becomes an attenuverter 
and we get a 90 degree phase shift for every volt that comes into this CV input. And phase modulation is a powerful way to create dynamic and often expressive FM-like sounds without actually changing the core pitch of the oscillator. It's also how most digital FM synthesis works, although this is entirely analog, but you've probably heard phase modulation masquerading as FM somewhere else before. So it's familiar, stable modulation. We can control the amplitude of the fundamental level, the even and the odd at their own outputs, and the level of them being mixed into the full output as well. These are at zero in their mid positions and go through zero, allowing us to add positive level or inverted level control. We have CV inputs for these as well, and because it's bipolar control, they go through that zero. This is how ring modulation works. So for example, if you wanted to ring modulate your fundamental, but have an even amount or steady amount of even harmonics, you could come out of the full, add a bit of even harmonics, and then ring modulate your fundamental, and even fade in and out your odd harmonics with some other CV as well. Finally, we have two types of sync, which affect the core of the oscillator. Reset, which is a hard sync, and flip, which is a soft sync. You can use either one or both of those together. We, of course, as this is your ORAC, have our volt per octave input for pitch. All of this in 12 HP. You can mix and match these modulations as much as you like. Highly capable, highly modulatable. So that's been a hell of a lot to talk through, never mind actually making the patches to show this off in the video. Please do use that timing index on screen and linked in the description to skip around and find out about all these through zero controls for FM, phase, modulation, ring modulation, sync, and more. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. Now we'll start by listening to and looking at the waveforms we get on Generate Free. Now we don't get the standard saw, pulse, triangle and sign you may expect from an analog oscillator. As we've already described, we get the core output, full, fundamental, even and odd. Now starting with the core, that is the core triangle wave of this oscillator. It's an octave lower than the sine wave at the fundamental. There's its bipolar level control. An octave above that is a saw wave on the even output. So we jump up triangle, octave up sine, octave up saw, and then even harmonics, which is a sort of unique folded looking shape there. Now if we go to the full output that mixes together the fundamental even and odd harmonic controls. The core isn't part of it. And we can recreate some of the classic waves that you might expect on there. If, for example, you want to mix a typical square wave, set the fundamental up to 100% and set the odd level around kind of four o'clock, roughly about 80%. Now, if we want a typical 10 volt peak to peak saw wave at the full output, set the fundamental frequency to about 50% and the two other channels to about 40%. So you can blend these harmonics to create these kind of classic waveforms that you might expect. But of course, you can push beyond them. You could say invert the fundamental. course do all of this under CV control with these bipolar inputs for fundamental even and odd. So those are the basic waveforms, let's dive into the other stuff. So here we'll explore phase modulation. So as the manual stated this will move the phase but it does sound the same anywhere and for audio use we'd want that modulating to hear an actual change. I'm going to plug in an audio rate source and that is a simple triangle wave from another oscillator right into phase. We've only got the fundamental turned up there. I'm going to tune up this external source. Phase shift sounds. And as I have with other patches in this video, 
syncing your external modulation source to generate free or syncing generate free to something else works to lock this modulation and carrier really well. I'm going to take the core output here and sync this external oscillator. So listen to the difference. It's already a nice tone and you might not want it to sync. You might want that little bit of kind of inaccuracy in the tunings that just gives a more lively sound. But syncing it instantly locks into this harmonious. Locked frequency relationship. Now, as I tune my external modulator again, a lovely dynamic phase effect there. Of course, I could bring other harmonics in. But let's make this a dynamic modulation. If I actually patch my source of phase modulation through an envelope, and I get an envelope controlling the VCA in between, And here we get the dynamic phase modulation without the pitch changes that are common in FM-like effects. Now if I get both of these sequencing, so Volt Proctive to generate free, and Volt Proctive to my modulation source, you get really nice phase modulation. Keeps the tuning constant, so that's through zero phase modulation. Use the triangle core out there to sync this external modulator and an envelope between the modulation oscillator with a VCA to shape this dynamically before it comes in. So here's one of those wow moments with Synthesis that luckily all these years into Synthesis and Modular, Yororak still continues to give me. Now this patch is Contour 1, controlling the level of a VCA, just a simple clean VCA. And I'm taking the core output, the core triangle, which is an octave lower than the fundamental, which is all we're listening to at present. And that triangle goes into the VCA, is controlled by Control 1 and comes back into phase modulation. Because the phase doesn't affect the core, the phase shifting affects these harmonic controls and fundamental outputs all present on the full output, we can control it with itself. And you can hear we get some amazing phase modulation sounds. And different effects whether we bring this up for positive modulation or invert on this attenuator. And of course coming out of the full output, I can blend in some more even harmonics, Let's change the shape of contour. Great for deep kind of modern bass sound design. Let's get a little sequence going where I trigger the behavior on contour and get some Volper Octave into Generate Free. So here's a stereo patch that explores the various outputs on Generate Free playing different rhythmic figures, polymetric gate patterns as it were. Now there's one external VCA involved and a delay, 
the delay it's a nice little PT trail in the background I'll lose that now the only external VCA is one that controls this core output and the core output doesn't mix into this full output and we don't get a level control this is just the triangle core of the oscillator here's that sound which is panned mono right down the middle of the mix so Vault Proctive Sequence, triangle output, and this just goes into a VCA. So you can visualize that it's the top trace in green on the Mordax data. And then using the onboard level controls with other envelopes to accent this pattern polymetrically. I'm dividing down into different patterns here. So I'm taking my gate sequence, which isn't a regular clock by the way. I'll let you hear that. Notice there's some gaps there in the rhythm and I'm dividing this down by two, triggering an envelope with the divided by two gate and that controls with an envelope straight in the level of the fundamental. So you're going to hear this octave up effect. The fundamental is a sine wave an octave higher than the triangle. Here it is on its own. With the triangle, and that's the blue trace on data there, second one down from the top. Now I've taken the odd and even harmonics. These are coming into data, but these are panned hard left and right. So removing the triangle core and the sine wave fundamental, I've divided my gate by three, triggered an envelope and that controls the even harmonics. And I've also divided it by five, triggered another envelope and that controls the odd harmonics. So here's even and odd hard panned left and right. So building that up from nothing again, main sequence, of course everything tracks this vault per octave, triangle core out into an external VCA, top trace on data, sine wave divided by two, envelope to control the level, the sine wave fundamental, and then the next two traces down, even an odd harmonics with a divide three and divide five. Hard panned left and right. And it gives this really nice multi-rhythmic, multi-layer pattern going on, all from the same oscillator. A little bit of delay. And because the even is an octave higher than the fundamental, the fundamental is an octave higher than the triangle core, and I can play the odd and even outputs off each other hard left and right, get really lovely rhythmic stereo space from a single oscillator. So here we're looking at controlling the amplitude of odd and even harmonics to create fake filters. Now the sound is just droning here, and it's this waveform on data that is just droning right through. We've already seen that you can create different waves, with different levels, but using two different envelopes to even and odd, we can bring those in and out to create a kind of pseudo filter, fake filter vibe. Here's an envelope to odd harmonics. And you can hear that fading all the harmonics in collectively isn't quite the same as bringing them in and out with a filter. But in practice and in various patches, as you'll see after this part of the video, it does work as a pseudo filter. So one envelope controlling the odd harmonics there and another one to control even. We can play around with different levels of decay, different envelope times. So here the sound's going through a VCA with an envelope, but I'm using a separate envelope there, the Contour 1, into both the even and odd harmonics to use this fake filter technique to bring harmonics in and out alongside the notes in this sequence. Contour 1 here is looping again to both even and odd inputs, it's the same signal as an LFO just fading these harmonics in and out, again for this fake filtering vibe. So 
So in this patch, we'll explore ring modulation. And because we get bipolar level control over the fundamental, even and odd outputs, or their control levels and how they mix into the full output, we can get ring modulation. Now we're going to work to this really nice vocal expressive patch that's playing. I'll let you hear it first though. And the difference between my modulation here and the output of Generate Free is what's creating that nice Lissajou curve on the data screen there. So removing my modulation. Full proctive sequence coming in, fundamental output. And again, that bipolar level control where it's off in the center, increasing level to the right, and inverting and increasing in level to the left is that bipolar level control. So if I plug in my modulator, which is a triangle wave oscillator, an external oscillator, nothing fancy. There's our classic ring modulation tones. Now the oscillator is being modulated, you can hear something pulling this up and down in pitch. Let me remove that for now. And that modulation is being sequenced as well. I'm just splitting that out here in a buffered multiple. Let's play around with the tuning of this modulation coming into the fundamental there. If my modulation oscillator wasn't being sequenced, That's just a static input coming in, but generate free is being modulated with a sequence. Getting the modulation, sequencing again as well. They both now track pitch and we create these nice glassy ring modulation tones. And of course, tuning these to different intervals give different results. However, when we actually sync this external source to generate free, and in this case, I'm gonna use the core output, you can hear it locks in to this really nice musical tone. I'll now sweep the frequency of this modulation oscillator and listen with it in sync how different it is. So rather than me doing that manually, I could say plug an LFO into the FM of this external oscillator. And it's really lovely moving sync and ring modulation tones. Now that's just happening on the fundamental. I could come out of, say, the full output where we can hear this fundamental and just blend in some even harmonics which aren't going to be affected. I'm not modulating the level of the even harmonics at all. And the ability to mix in unaffected waves with affected waves is a really powerful thing that Generate Free offers. So I was playing around with that previous ring modulation patch before I pulled it for the next patch I was needing to film for this very demo. I stumbled upon this kind of extra bundle of awesomeness. And my train of thought was, what happens if I ring modulate the fundamental, the even, and the odd harmonics, all from different oscillators, but all of them in sync? but being modulated a bit differently as well, so it's a fairly complex patch. Now, that is some filter audio rate modulation, taking the fundamental output into FM on that filter. I also have an envelope opening up. Filter 8 there. I'll open filter 8 fully open and we can just hear what's going on. So the patch itself, The fundamental output being ring modulated. I'm coming out of the all output straight into the filter through the scope first. Even, also being ring modulated. And you can hear that the modulation has been sequenced. If I pull that out, 
You get a nice static tone, again, ring modulation and sync here. It's a really nice set of overtones, but if I sequence this modulator differently to all this other vault props of information, I get changes within these tonal shifts as part of this sync and ring mod that's going on. Odd harmonics. Same thing, you can hear this tonal kind of shift in that ring mod is sequenced. If I pull that out, here's static ring modulation over my odd level, those odd harmonics. But throwing a little accent pattern into the FM of this modulating oscillator. You can hear it starts to add some movement. So as I blend all this together, of interesting movement it's all synced from this main core output and these other oscillators that have been vault proctive sequenced and sequenced and gated a bit differently as well give generate free just loads to go at and because it's in sync it keeps it all in check filter down envelope controlling the filter if I take that fundamental output and audio rate mod the filter with it, so I'm audio rate modulating all of this with this sound that you can hear, this is just the fundamental. Nice bitey, chewy kind of filter vibe. So here we'll look at sync and we get both hard and soft sync with the flip and the reset on Generate Free. Now I'm FM modulating Generate Free, which is synced to a wave from the filter 8. This is just oscillating. And we get all those lovely sync sweep tones that you may have heard before. With both hard sync. and soft sync. So here's a simple sine wave out of the fundamental, that's the top wave on the data there. And I'm trying to let you visualize what's actually happening with the sync. And I hope the data visuals there are helpful. This oscillating also gives us a sine wave. It's the bottom wave there on the data. I've let them overlap a bit so you can see what this sync point is, where this wave meets this one and syncs it. So this is just that sine wave from Generate Free. And let's use the flip, which is the soft sync. It flips, inverts, or reverses the waveform. Change the rate to filter eight. You can see at this point where it starts to flip, it actually reverses backwards. Now if that was hard sync on the reset input, this would just give a hard edge. It doesn't invert, it doesn't reverse the waveform. Both are useful and both are available at any time. You could hard sync to one source and soft sync to another. In LFO mode, this will reset the waveform or flip the waveform. Again, super useful. And if we're modulating Generate Free while well, it's synced to a static source, we get all these sync tones that start to come out. We could do this while actually modulating our source that is syncing Generate Free. So let's take a proper Vault Proctive sequence into Filter 8. Remove this from Generate Free. And we can hear because this has been sequenced, the effect is passing on to Generate Free. And LFOs and envelopes to control the pitch of Generate Free will give us some really nice effects. Here's that step sequence back into FM. So here's an example of using both sync inputs at once. I'm using two different oscillators for the hard and soft sync on the flip and the reset. Coming out of the full output with this particular mix of 
the fundamental, odd and even harmonics. And I'm going to start by sweeping the pitch of the oscillator coming into the reset, the hard sync. then changing the pitch of the soft sinking oscillator, the oscillator into the flip input. Hard sync again. And I'm just gonna grab both knobs of the two sinking oscillators and just move them both together. here without anything else happening to generate free other than the two external syncing sources to reset and flip there's a hell of a lot to explore tonally you could be modulating those oscillators you could be modulating generate free go to town with sync and of course you sync with those other effects to lock things in harmoniously with your ring mod fm and phase modulation as well so here we'll explore through zero fm dynamic fm that doesn't pitch wonder horribly. So you can do nice musical FM patches with Fruit Zero analog FM synthesis. So let's get some nice Fruit Zero FM. I'm gonna start by making this dynamic. So my FM source is gonna go through a VCA. This VCA is controlled by an envelope and into the FM. Ow, 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 ow. Tune up a bit. And you'll find you may need to tune up a little bit higher. But one nice thing to do straight away is to actually sync your sources. So I'm going to take another output from filter 8 and flip this with a soft sync get this locked in at that bit more harmonious and syncing any kind of modulation be it phase am fm it's just going to help lock things in harmoniously Take a Vot Proctor input to, to generate three and also to filter eight. And for a bit more amplitude shaping, I'm going to copy the envelope controlling this dynamic FM into the fundamental level. Let's tune up a bit nicer. Nice FM donks. Put a donk on it. So that's an exploration and a demo of how this FM works. This through zero core it actually affects the core of the whole thing. So if we were listening to say the triangle out, the core. So we've looked at FM from a technical standpoint, let's just explore it in practice. Now this is a very, very simple patch despite the cabling. I'm splitting a volt per octave sequence into my oscillating filter, so a sine wave on filter eight, and also into generate three. I've got FM coming in, not going through anything, it's not in any way dynamic, it's going into the scope to create this Lissajou curve and straight in from this sine wave. And the amplitude shaping there is an envelope playing in time with this arpeggio into the fundamental. So I'll take that out, plug our FM back in. Static FM, and I'm going to explore linear FM here. Let's 
let's add that dynamic amplitude shaping back into the fundamental just gives it a bit of shape rather than it droning now if I was to take this through zero and turn the bias off to stop this just being in the positive domain and going through zero really kind of throws it out of whack we'll need to tune this up higher and then play around with our modulator but again it's easy to tune up a nice harmonious relationship between them back to linear nice linear glassy fm so here's some particularly grungy, fuzzy through zero FM. So an oscillating sine wave into filter eight. I'm coming out of this triangle core. Both the generate free and filter eight have the same volt proctive information. But this modulation first goes through a VCA. Now if I wasn't to modulate the modulation, it would just statically pass through to this through zero FM input. We tune up a nice ratio. And then I could control phase, AM, ring mod, and patch around as I see fit. But with dynamic modulation, it's got this nice grungy, percussive, almost kind of like fuzz in the low end going on. And I think sync would really help. So if we take another output from filter 8 and soft sync with the flip input, you can hear this locks it in. It's still a little bit glitchy, and that's just the tuning relationships I've got going there. Slightly different response if I AC couple it. The syncing there has really helped just to lock this in. That's just adjusting the depth of modulation on my VCA. Let's pull the modulation of the modulator out. Statically passing through. It's really easy to tune up some nice musical FM with sync. Or without sync. Just needs a little bit of fine control if they're unsynced. So here we've turned Generate Free into a single VCO drum kit. Now this is entirely Generate Free dry. I've zoomed out so you can see a little bit more. This coming into my mixer, a little bit of a low end boost just to get a bit more presence on those kicks. Weird 8-bit-ish retro gamey clicky drum sounds. They're interesting. So we can turn Generate Free into a white noise generator very simply as described in the manual. I'll overlay what it says, but simply patch the even output back into the phase modulation input and you can tune generate free to give this tuned resonant peak that kind of sweeps through the noise it generates. So here's the kind of steady tone out of generate free. I plug the even output back into the phase. playing with the direction of modulation on the phase and this bias switch gives us different effects now the bias switch being down much cleaner purer white noise but we can still sweep through it down into sub audio rates Lots of interesting weird wasp flying around your head effects with a the phase there. Bias back up though. And it tuned quite low. We get this nice crispy weird almost vinyl crackle-ish kind of sound. And I'm gonna layer that under some beats shortly just so you can hear that. I love layering noise and vinyl crackle and weirdness under wonky beats. But first let's get this into a VCA with a nice envelope and create some percussion sounds. We're gonna of course push this feedback even more. Let's say we put the fundamental into through zero FM.
So here's a patch that was me trying to create some kind of PWM super saw unison like effect out of the single oscillating source generate free. Now it is coming through filter 8, they're tracking the same vault proxy sequence and contour is serving as this nicely modulated envelope, green trace there on the top of data, kind of whipping open at this filter. Nice kind of plucky almost low pass gate like sound. I'll open the filter up. And well, it's not PWM, it's not Unison, and it's not a Super Saw, I have managed to get a nice drifting animated wave that in practice kind of gives a similar effect. Now by using LFOs that are all out of sync with each other, two of which you can see there on the bottom of data in pink and blue, I'm modulating phase, very gently modulating exponential FM, which is where that slight uneasy pitch drift is coming from, and then I'm modulating fundamental, even, and odd output levels, and I'm coming out of the full output straight into the filter. And by having all these just modulate free running rates, There's a nice drifting, somewhat pseudo unison like sound. So I'm quite happy I've achieved what I wanted, this rich moving wave that on a basic oscillator I might just reach for PWM or if some kind of digital oscillator I might use a Super Saw 4. This gives me a similar character. And then simply into a filter. So here's a patch that uses four of the outputs to modulate filter eight and two VCAs. I'm also using the full output, mixing all these together for some PWM as well. So my source is a pulse wave. It's been PWM'd by the full output that's coming out into the pulse width modulation. This then hits filter eight, and then this gets split into two VCAs with a one pole low pass, panned hard left. a one pole high pass panned right. So you've got different filter types panned hard left and right. I'm using the odd and even outputs to control the level of these two VCAs. I'm sweeping the cutoff with the fundamental output, which is an octave higher, so twice the rate of the core output, which controls the resonance. So I actually get the filter sweeping up and down with a very non-resonant setting, and then one that sweeps up and down, very resonant. Now because we get different wave shapes and harmonics, we've got this interesting, but of course related, control, controlling the filter cutoff, the resonance, and the level of my hard panned left and right signals. You can see all of the waveform outs on data there. And again, the full all output is modulating PWM. Now, before I plug any modulation of this in as an LFO, I can simply invert waveforms. So on that right hand side, we've now got a rising ramp on resonant. And resonant and of course we can cut this background to be an inverted wave as well. Now coming back up in rate I'm going to sync this and this is just simply a trigger into reset to hard sync. And you can see in here, it's interrupting this wave, hard syncing, resetting back to that zero point. And of course the phase control here has an effect over these outputs as well. I could then start to use other LFOs to control say the different levels of the fundamental. Even harmonics and odd harmonics. And why not a bit of Exponential FM as well? So maybe a slightly odd example with these hard panned different filter types, 
but one that I think shows off these related patterns between the outputs running at different rates. The core, the octave up sine wave that is the fundamental, so it's twice as fast. An octave up saw wave, so twice as fast as the fundamental, or four times as fast as the core on the even output, and the odd shape as well. Again, all of which you can see there on data. It makes for a great comprehensive analog LFO that you can reverse with the flip, hard sync with the reset, control the level of, the frequency of, the phase of, and of course use all these different outputs for different synchronous LFO modulations. So in this patch, I want to specifically look at phasing LFOs. And like the previous LFO example, this is in stereo with one sound panned hard left and one sound panned hard right. And there's some effects in the background again. Now the sound going hard left is controlled by the core output. That's the triangle core of this VCO LFO. And that's the green trace on data at the top. The fundamental output, which is a sine wave, an octave higher or double the frequency of the core, is the yellow trace on data, and that's controlling the level of the sound on the right. Now, the little bit of clicking you're hearing here is the VCA is not liking negative modulation. They're not ring modulators, so the bottoms of these waves are just being cut in and out. It's causing a bit of clicking, but it's nothing to worry about for now. If I start to move the phase control, this will change the phase of that fundamental output while the core remains the same. So focus on this in stereo, the left hand triangle will remain solid and that right hand sine wave controlling the level will start to shift. We start to get these different but synchronous patterns. So Duranalog say this kind of patching is time shifting ratio metric patching. Now here generate free is actually my sequencer. And because we've got the, these cores and different outputs running at different rates, I'm using them as triggers. Now this would massively vary depending on what you plug them into. Different modules, triggers, gate inputs, for example, need different levels of signal to trigger and control them. But to have a kick coming out of the fundamental out, rim shot out of odd. We'll come back to that because when we start phase shifting this, it isn't playing the same rhythm as the kick. Shuffly hi hats out of even, and the core is my clap. So let's start phase shifting this and create some different kind of beats. And of course, it's super wonky and weird. So in this patch, I'm exploring ring modulation and sync effects, specifically soft sync here in the flip input. So here again, we have mixed modulation. All four bits of modulation here though, controlling phase, through zero FM, sync and amplitude, and of course pitch as I'm sequencing this as well. Now I'll take them out one by one and we'll explore what's going on in the patch. Here's the FM coming out. Phase, sync, and AM. So inverted envelope into the fundamental. And then a dynamic FM source. And I say dynamic because the FM source, which is filter eight here, again, oscillating as I have for most of these patches in this video, I've been using filter eight. That goes through a VCA with the envelope controlling it. So it's dynamic modulated modulation. 
and then syncing this to another output on filter 8. Just soft sync here into the flip. And then another output into phase. Here's some mixed modulation again, this time with a little bit of feedback involved. Filter 8 again is self oscillating, so that's a sine wave coming into through 0 FM here. But I'm using the fundamental output as the actual output that you're hearing. But I'm taking the core, which is that triangle wave, an octave lower than the fundamental, out into a VCA with an envelope controlling its level before coming into the fundamental level control. So dynamic feedback of that octave lower triangle from the core output to control the level of the fundamental and the whole thing is being through zero FM'd from filter 8. Another nice interesting patch that kind of can easily cross the clangorous and the musical and all these different forms of synthesis that, that generate free offers. So here's one of those everything and the kitchen sink type patches, just really throwing everything at Generator 3 to mix all these synthesis types, modulations and sound design options that we get on the module. I started with positive exponential FM as opposed to inverted exponential FM from the contour envelope. So let's just work back towards that. Much filthier modulation. I was really trying to build up something that would complete with the kind of harsh nastiness of some of the really nice digital voices that are out there. They do this really crunchy, crispy, distorted like sound. And it, this does it really well. However, moving that exponential FM knob to invert that modulation cleans up and becomes a really nice melodic pattern. So this video is so long, I thought we can't get this far and not modulate everything. Through zero FM, phase modulation through zero, through zero amplitude control or ring mod, some basic envelope control of the fundamental there and sync. And I'll pull everything out and go through what's going on. But I think it's still a very musical patch, even though everything is being modulated. So first I'll remove the envelope controlling the fundamental level and coming out of the full output here just into the scope and then directly recording the sound. So this is just generate free, nothing else post stream or post patch that's controlling the sound here. Oof. I have an LFO controlling the level of these odd harmonics. Let's remove that for now too. Just listen to the fundamental. And have some dynamic phase modulation. I'll remove that. So this is now just sync and through zero FM. I'm syncing with the flip, the soft sync to filter eight and filter eight is coming into the through zero FM. Playing around with the course tune on generate three. It's lots of lovely through zero FM tones. Now this is static modulation. It's not dynamic. It's coming straight in. I'm then taking the core output of Generate 3 to sync another oscillator. Sending that triangle wave oscillator through a VCA with an LFO controlling its level. So the sound is fading in and out on the VCA. And I'm going to plug that in to the phase modulation. It's a modulated LFO too. So you can hear it's not a static fading in and out of this sound. So through zero FM and sync plus that phase modulation. 
Good God, it sounds great. Adding in a little bit of level modulation on the odd harmonics and bringing up that attenuator. I think I like it just droning. It sounds really nice. And to say that's all analog is a bit of a mind bender. You usually expect this level of control in your sound design and synthesis from more comprehensive digital units where you can just keep coding these things in. To do it in analog is very impressive. So last thing, an envelope to control the level of that fundamental. everything in the kitchen sink thrown at generate free and it's still giving us this nice rich musical output thanks for watching this video on the generate free bride your analog be sure to check out other videos from your analog linked in the description support my work at patreon.com forward slash divkid leave some questions in the comments It'd be great to chat and i'll see you next time cheers for watching